Hi, this is Kishore Kumar. Today we are going to check the earth resistance of this service. You can see the earth link and the earth wire is connected here. This is a solid copper wire. It is connected here. And it is buried near the service cable. We are going to use this Kusam Miko KM2030 Digital Earth Tester. How I have connected the green clip to the voltage terminal and yellow goes to the potential spike and the red goes to the current spike which I will show you. We are going to follow FOP or fall of potential method or 62% method. First we have to check this for presence of voltage just the line is active so for that we have connected this earth clip to the V pole and this we have left it as dummy. After testing the voltage, I will change this green probe to E terminal. I will show you the schematic. The potential stake is driven at 8.5 meter from the earth wire or earth bit and the current spike I have driven it at 14 meter Actually, the earth pipe depth is 1.5 meter. So, minimum I have taken 10 times. So, 1.5 into 10 is 15 meters. As there is no space, I have kept the spike at 14 meters. See that the surrounding is wet and 62% uh, of 14 is approximately 8.5. First we have to check the presence of voltage. As I told you, this is the zero reference, this point. This earth wire is connected to a pipe about 1.5 meter which is buried inside the ground. 
not this one. This is for cable protection. That pipe is inside. GI pipe. Already I told you disconnected and the line is active. So first we have to check for voltage. I am turning the knob to get the voltage position. So it shows 0 0.7 volts. No need to press the test button. If the voltage is more than 10, then you have to de-energize the earth pit to be tested. Now it is 0 0.7 only. So we can test directly. How we will off this. So as I told you, if it is more than 10, you have to disconnect the earth from here, from the link. It has to be done carefully, very carefully, because you may get shocked if it is disconnected. Also, the metal body appliances connected to the service may give you a shock because you have disconnected the earth. Now we have not disconnected. So this is a copper 10 gauge or 3 mm solid wire. So now we are going to check the resistance. For that I am removing this green terminal and plugging it to E. So now it is clear. I have connected E to the earth or earth wire and already I showed you C at 14 meters length from this zero point and P is yellow is at 62 percent of 14 meters that is about 8.5 meters now I am going to turn to Ohm's range I guess is 2000 we have to always start from the highest so I am pressing the test button it is showing 12 ohms now 200 13 ohms 13.8 ohms Now 20 ohms. So I will lock it. So it is about 14 ohms. The ideal value should be 5 ohms. To achieve that we have to pour water here because it is very dry due to sunny weather. Now we will change the position of the potential spike 
forward and backward by 1 meter and see the value. This is forward 9 meters. Now we will see the reading. So it is 13.9. Now we will move it for meter backward. Now we will see the reading. So it is more or less same. So the average is 13.8 or round to 214. So we have to take at least minimum 3 readings, 62% is the reference and one reading at 52% and another reading at 72% and the average gives you the exact value. But if the readings, 3 readings differ by more than 2 ohms, you have to shift the current spike further away and again start the test so thank you if you have any doubt please comment in the comment box